Hello everyone, this is Alice, Alice Lind, and uh, today I'm going to be the, your host and together we are going to trade on the NFP non-farm payroll report. So uh, right now I'm, um, I, I'm already logged into the website and uh, I'm on the page of the economic calendar. Right now you can see uh, that the event that we are waiting is already uh, like going to be released in 14 minutes and uh, um, here you see the list of the upcoming events that are going to be published approximately at the same time so uh, first of all the event that we are interested in it's non-farm payroll as I mentioned before and bef uh, it's going to affect the American dollar Besides, and of course gold, besides that we have the report on the Canadian, uh, Canadian dollar and uh, if you're, you're choosing to trade on the pairs with Canadian dollars also you need to pay attention to that. So uh, right now for trading, I'm going beside the platform, I'm going to use the trading view website everything there is already ready to work i have logged into my account you see that the charts here one minute time frame i have selected uh, some uh, some indicators that i'm using right now so it's macd it's linear regression and uh, basically uh, uh, nothing else because as you know non-farm payroll is a uh, fundamental factor that is uh, that cannot be calculated by the uh, by the technical approach so set your platform ready to go and uh, as usual if, if you have some questions during the webinar please write to this email I will definitely answer them so right now we are waiting for everyone to join me and to join the webinar and we will start trading soon As you may see, the volatility has already started. Uh, as I said, it's one minute time frame, so we can see that uh, there were pretty few candles that were uh, in the same direction. And uh, in the real volatility we are going to see in 11 minutes when the report is going to be published and we will know exactly what the report is. As uh, as we have like traders who have witnessed a lot of the previous NFP reports, uh, probably you know that like a few years ago it was much more interesting when the market went down or up several hundred pips. Right now the NFP's uh, effect on the market is much more moderate and uh, so my approach for that is is uh, we are going to trade on the binary platform as here for us it doesn't matter uh, how much pips the market is going to pass for us it's important what important is is the direction so um, plat binary platform trading you website and the economic calendar uh, you may use another calendars that are offered like on the any other independent source or of course the one that is offered on the Finmax platform.
for those who doesn't know, non-farm payroll is uh, used to be uh, one of uh, the most important events, and still it is. And uh, this report shows the change in the number of the employed people during the previous month. So, uh, but it doesn't include the farming industry. So this indicator is one of the most important as um, Federal Reserve System uh, watches its results in order to determine the future policy of its interest rate. So, of course, uh, it helps to determine the future policy of the Federal Reserve System, which is uh, the National Bank, basically the National Bank of the United States. So, uh, for us, it's an opportunity to trade right now, right here, to make some profit and, of course, to place some long-term positions in order to get some extra pips from the market. As uh, you may see on the calendar, this one or the one on, uh, on any other source, the forecast is positive for the American dollar. Positive meaning that uh, it's expe expected that more working places are going to be created. So it means that in case it really like that, American dollar should show some growth. So we have like seven minutes left before the event and it's really good time to determine what direction you are going to trade. So there, um, of course, I need to mention that uh, the information that we have in the economic calendar, the forecast, it's not always so exact. So pay attention to that and be ready for for uh, that the result may be a bit different but of course right now i'm going to trade for the american dollar to grow um, next step for us is to select the currency pairs that we are going to trade with so of course we may use the most popular like euro usd so in this case if i believe that american dollar is going to go up i need to place the position for euro down okay and if i'm going to trade for example for usd gpy i need to trade for high but in case i decide to trade for the gold as the opposite measure from uh, the american dollar i would trade it the opposite from what i think the dollar is going to go so in this case, as we have uh, the positive forecast for the American dollar, I need I would need to open the um, the gold for for low, okay. But let's leave gold for the other day. And today I'm going to trade on the British pound to American dollar. So let's select it among other assets you may use the asset manager or like search it here or search scroll here in order to find what you need so here it is we already see that as i mentioned before that the movement has already started let me choose it here we see that british pound is going down was going down one minute time frame so the next step for us is to determine the direction if we believe that american dollar is going to grow the british pound as the same as euro or gold we need to open for low the second step is to determine the time frame usually um, nfp doesn't have long-term impact on the market so the volatility here is like for a couple of minutes so uh we if we are if we want to open the trade for the uh for the binary or we want to open the trade right now before the uh the results we need to select some expiry that is going to be straight after the event so for example uh 
we have here the time frame offered for uh, 32 minutes past 2, my local time. So let's select the amount and open for, uh, for low. So we confirm the trade. We already see that um, 5 minutes left before the expiry and a bit less than 3 minutes left before the event itself. So trading on the NFP, there are like you have already heard that there are several approaches for that. Like to trade, to trade before, to trade straight after, to trade a couple of seconds before the event itself. So let's see what's going on in market. I change interval for the time for the chart for five minutes. So uh, as we see for today, so today is uh, 2nd of November and we see that since morning a British pound to American dollar went up for a while and right now it's moving down. Well, it may be due to the expectations that the event is going to be positive to American dollar and vice versa negative for the counter pairs. Let's switch to the 60 minutes time frame, which is one hour. And we see that last two hours, uh, this pair was moving down. which may be additional hint for us to determine our direction. So let's go back to five minutes. For now, our trade is in the money. Uh, so let's determine the second step that we are going to do. The second step for me is going to be open to trade straight before the event itself. So uh, it's going to be 60 seconds expiry and I'm going to open it a couple seconds before the event itself. Also, you, you need to prepare before the trade. You select the time frame, you make sure you select the correct pair, you already selected the amount and choose the direction. So the only thing that I have to do uh, when I want to trade is to confirm the transaction. So uh, we have 50 seconds left before the event and uh, I'm going to open the trade couple five minutes, five uh, seconds, two seconds before uh, the event will be released. It may be hard due to the volatility, but we will try to do that. And in case these two trades, they will be out of money. After they went, I will take some measures in order to close the deal, to close my trading session in the profit. So let's wait a couple of more seconds and confirm the trade. As I said, high volatility didn't allow us to open the trade. So let's hope that this trade is going to be in the money. Let's see what's, what we have on the market. Okay, so uh, the British pound, as we expected, went down and here we see that uh, the market moves down, the pair moves, moves down. As you may check on the economic calendar, wait a bit, it needs to be refreshed, uh, the data went more than positive. So it was the actual information about the job cre creation was more than it was expected. So the actual release was uh, 446k instead of 190 or 183. So let's see what we have here. 
the last several seconds of the trade they may be worrying as you see the almost the whole time the trade was in the money but last few seconds went out of money so we are waiting for it to reach the end and only after that we will decide what we are going to do So I will get ready to enter for the step in order to cover the trade that I have made. I used the two and a half coefficient and uh, let me determine what direction I'm going to go. So despite it was uh, the event was uh, positive for the American dollar, it went uh, down for a while. So we may expect that for the second step, it will go our direction so a couple of more seconds left before I'm going to open the trade I'm going to trade down and wait for it uh, to see what's going to happen next so uh, as you may see on the chart and this is MACD, I will remind you. So we see here the, the, the break and uh, such breaks can be uh, noticed only when it deals to the trading on the uh, some events, some market events that are important and uh, that has have significant influence on the market. So right now, let's see what uh, we have 40 seconds left before the expiry. And let's see what's what is going to happen next. So the event actually the non-farm payroll, as I mentioned in the beginning, right now it's not that volatile as it used to be. So let's see how many pips we have here. So right now the volatility, the whole volatility was uh, high is on. So the difference basically is really small. So you can see uh, in the above of the page the high and low of this candle. And you may see that it's almost nothing. So here we see that we have opened the trade. It closed in the money. And uh, my congratulations. What we can do next is to determine whether we are going to open some long-term positions for this event. So long-term meaning with the expiry till the end of the day or even till uh, next week. As we have Friday today, so it's better to place some positions uh, till uh, today, till evening or the midday. So I will open the position with the expiry till um, 1545 probably before American market is uh, stock market I mean is going to be open. So it means that I will prevent the influence, the effect of the other events on my chart. So let's probably enter for 2K and for low again so what it means what my trading here proves that i'm go i believe that long term this pair is going to move lower than it is right now so we will see what's going ha to happen and uh, at uh, the time of the expiry i will take a decision wh which is going to be in one hour what i'm going to do whether i'm going to continue trading or I'm going to trade on some other event. So uh, thank you for your attention. I hope that uh, you learned something useful from this webinar, that you have opened a successful trade. Have a nice day and good luck with your trading.